which is this, this case concerns the right of the public school to receive education in a quantitative form and the obligation of the state to provide the necessary resources to fulfill the enjoyment of this right for the applicants. As the constitution is the supreme law of the country, which simply means that is above all rules, as counsel of the applicant, we rely on section 29, subsection 1a, which states that everyone has the right to basic education, including all that education. For binding value to this court, as counsel of the applicant, we like to submit this honorable court that the right to basic education in line with section 29, subsection 1a, is immediately realizable. For, the, for binding value of this court, we rely on the case of governing body of the German State Primary School versus ESA number and others. It was in paragraph 87 of this case where it is declared that it is important to understand the nature of the right to education. This right is immediately realizable and unlike some of the other socioeconomic rights, this right does not require, there is no internal limitation requiring that the right be pro progressively realized within available resources subject to reasonable legislative measures. The right to education may only be limited in terms of law of general application which is reasonable and justifiable in a society based on equality, human dignity, and freedom. It is evident that not much was done to realize the right to education at Guru High School. Because although the school, the school offers science as a subject, the learners at Guru High School do not have a science laboratory in order for them to be able to conduct their experiment and scientific researches. Even though it is clearly stated in their regulations related to minimum uniform norms and standards for public schools infrastructure, in paragraph, in paragraph 14, subsection 1, that all public schools that offer science subject must have a science laboratory. The legislation, which is the South African Schools Act, also states in section 5, subsection 8, which are the norms and standards for basic infrastructure and capacity in public schools, that in respect of the schools, there must be availability of laboratories for science, technology, mathematics, and life sciences. Which should, be, which should all be provided for by the state, which is the respondent. The inadequacy in school infrastructure, including the lack of computers and internet access, was addressed in the case of Education for All versus Minister of Basic Education. In this case, the court recognized the importance of technology in education. Then, just this, nothing is as disheartening as having to witness yet another South African child having to fight before they can fully exercise their rights. After it is clearly stated in the country's very own supreme law, which is the constitution, in subsection in section 28, subsection 2, that a child's best interest is of paramount importance in every matter concerning the child. In this case of justice, the best interest of the child, which is the applicant and as well as her fellow schoolmates at Guru High School, is to have access to technology at their school. In order for them to be able to, to fully enjoy and exercise their right to education.